Today we're going to talk more about parameters and arguments and how we use them and why we need them. So we're going to talk about our main function. Think of it like the island of Hawaii. It's the big island that's going to do all the controlling. Now we've, we're going to declare variables in, here in the main function and we want to do this to avoid global variables. Now you've used global variables before with event-driven programming and it's kind of necessity then until we get into classes. But if at all costs, you want to avoid global variables if you can. And one way you can do that is by using local variables here in the main function and then passing in their values as, per, as arguments. So here in our main, let's say that we just have some variables. Maybe, maybe we need to get an X and a Y from the user. Maybe we have a count total. We're going to declare all of our variables here in main. And when we talk about the scope of a variable, these variables have to stay on the island. Okay? There's no boats, there's no airplanes, this is self-contained. So whatever is here has to stay here. But we also know we want to chunk our program into many functions, so I don't want this to be 100 lines long. I'm going to do a couple of basic things here, like get values and maybe print, but I want some other functions to do all the rest of the work. So I'm going to come over here to function 1. I'm going to create this new little island that's off the coast somewhere, and it's going to do some calculations. Do the calculations, it needs to know what x and y is, and it's going to um, maybe do something with count or total. Mostly it's going to need x and y. Get some kind of an answer. So function needs an x and a y. And instead of asking for it here, because maybe function 2 needs x and y as well. So I've started it here. This needs those values, but there's no way to get them. There's no boat, there's no airplane. What to do? Well, the main person over here gets on the phone. It's going to call, or it's actually function one is going to get on the, on the phone. It's going to call the main island and say, hey, I have an x and a y local variable here, but I need the values. So over the phone, the person's going to tell them what the value of x is and what the value of y is. Now, the x and y don't leave. They stay here. But the value just goes over the phone line, and the value gets put into x, and the y value gets put into y. So just the value, a copy. Now function one's going to do its thing. Maybe it has a return. And maybe it's going to return an answer. Well, how does it, the answer get to the main island? There's no boat, there's no airplane, so it's going to call up, it's going to return the answer, and let's we're going to put the answer into total. So we've got our function call, it's going to pass in x and y, and then the answer, now answer stays here, actually when the function is done it's gone, but they just make a copy of answer, and it goes to total. So they're just copies. Then when function one is finished, it actually just kind of goes away. There's nothing left anymore. We'll be talking about scope. So once it's hung up the phone, they're gone. Okay. Now maybe over here function two is not going to be a return function. It's going to be um, a void function. Maybe it's just going to print. So function two wants to print all those values. So now I'm going to print x, y, count, and total. But it doesn't have x, y, count, and total. It's all on the main island. No way to get there. It can't physically move, okay, and it can't really share its memory location. So function 2 gets on the phone with the main island and says, hey, I need the values. So the value of x gets passed over, just the copy. Value of y gets passed over, just a copy. It's because it's happening over the phone, so it's not actually moving, but whatever was stored in that memory location gets passed over here. So these are the arguments. They go to the parameters. Function 2 is going to do its thing. It's going to do a lot of prints. When it's finished, these go away. Hang up the phone, adios, no more. So these 
variables never left the island. They are local to this function only. And what it can do is actually share its value, but it's never actually going to be the same. So if this was a different x and y than this one. This is a different answer than this total, but they shared a value like over the telephone lines. So everything's kind of kept separate. So when I did something here, if I changed this x, this one didn't change because it was a copy. Whatever I did over here, these didn't change because this was a copy. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're working with parameters that are in the function header and arguments that are part of the call is that the original stays and just a copy gets transferred into the functions. It does what it wants to do. And the only way for it to share answers back is with that return. And it's a copy as well. So the copy of that value got passed in and then this variable disappeared because it was local. So that's kind of some important information as you're working through things. That's why the, the names didn't have to match. So I could call it X and Y here. Over here, I could have called it A and B because the value of X would get passed to here. The value of Y could get passed to here. So I could call this whatever I wanted. But for simplicity, we just use the same names. 